The World Health Organization is making loneliness a global health priority. The WHO has launched a new commission on social connections. The aim of the commission, which consists of 11 leading policymakers, thought leaders and advocates from across the globe, will be to address loneliness as a pressing health threat, promote social connections as a priority and accelerate the scaling up of solutions in countries of all incomes. According to the WHO, social isolation, which means having an insufficient number of social connections and loneliness, which is described as the social pain of not feeling connected, are widespread, impacting the health and well-being of people of all age groups across the globe. According to the WHO, social isolation affects one in four older people, with 5 to 15 percent of adolescents experiencing loneliness. These figures are likely to be underestimated. And the impact of social isolation and so loneliness is real. According to the WHO, people without strong social connections are at a higher risk of stroke, anxiety, dementia, depression, amongst others. It carries an equal or even greater risk of early death as other risk factors such as smoking, excessive drinking, obesity and more. Being socially isolated has been linked to depression, anxiety and can increase the risk of cardiac diseases by 30%. Lastly, the commission, which is co-chaired by the U.S. Surgeon General, Dr. Vivek Murthy, will hold its first leadership level meeting uh, between the 6th and 8th of December this year. The agenda of the commission has special significance at this time as per the WHO, given how COVID-19 resulted in undermining social connections. For the next three years, the commission will analyze how social connections help in improving health for people of all ages and will also outline solutions to build social connections at scale. Thank <laughs> you.